crops dying, earthquakes, floods. The economy collapsed because of all those natural disasters. But a lot of the blame went to mutants, homo superior. Some call them the next stage in human evolution. Others, a threat to our very existence. So now we've got these purifier cults springing up everywhere. They say they're humanity saviors. Well, someone's got to do it. We X-Men will work with local and national authorities to keep the peace and to deliver help where it's needed. And the Brotherhood of Mutants will protect its own. One man could have brought sense and sanity out of this chaos. But Charles Xavier is dead. Struck down when he and Magneto faced the menace called Bastion. The Professor's dream died on that day. Without him, the X-Men just fell apart. But Mr. Summers, what about the school? Right here, right now, the school is just a target, Pixie. We'll rebuild it somewhere else. The government's Mutant Response Division has deployed 10,000 troops in the Bay Area and moved its Telos Comm satellite into orbit above the city. Commander Reyes, do you think the MRD presence here will defuse the tension, restore some kind of normalcy to the city? That's our hope. What about Magneto? Magneto has not been seen since the Bastion incident. Everyone lists Magneto among the missing, but he's still out there. He's just deciding on his next move. Between mutants and purifiers, San Francisco is a virtual powder keg. What will it take to bring calm? Who will be the voice of reason? Today is about the future. A future we have chosen to face together, human, and mutant alike. San Francisco has opened its arms to show the world that peace can be achieved. Today, the future begins with a gesture of trust on both sides. I am proud to stand alongside the X-Men's leader, Cyclops, and the mayor of San Francisco as we move the city toward integration of our mutant and human communities. The group that I represent, the Mutant Response Division, we are not warriors, we are peace keepers. The peace we build here is precious and must be protected. I would like to call upon Cyclops, formerly of the Xavier Academy for Gifted Youngsters. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. I'll speak plainly, and I'll keep it short. The choice we all face is between peaceful coexistence and blind hatred. Charles Xavier died on the street. We have to live with it. You mark my word, your turn's gonna come! We have to choose the sides, make a stand. The apathy of the many is as destructive as the malice of the few. It's time we remember that we're one people, united by our shared humanity. Your genes don't decide your destiny. You do. We all do. What is going on, guys and girls? I am Ghost Robo, and I love me some X-Men. Welcome to X-Men Destiny just released. The mutants are facing off against the humans. Cyclops Gang is facing off against Magnetos, and we have to decide where we fall in line, because not only is this a cool X-Men game, there's also a, a good evil system of joining the Brotherhood, joining Cyclops. Gotta pick a character here. Save up. And let's see. Brand new game. Let's get going. Play an... I'm an X-Man. We'll play an X-Man difficulty. Sounds good. Alright, so we got three characters to choose from. Amy, Yoshida, Adrian Luca, and Grant Alexander. Um, you can read a little bit about them. But you'll know that this guy is probably the most boring and the most... Uh, he knows little about anything. That's probably he has zero interest and knows little about anything. Pretty sure that's not a very good choice there. We've got Adrian Luca. He is uh, educated to hate all mutants and condition of secret vengeance. I don't really want a guy that hates mutants if we're going to be going because you can also acquire powers along the way. You're going to be acquiring powers from the the, the normal X Men gang, the you know the mainstay X Men. So I think that we should go with Amy, who was smuggled out of Japan by her mutant parents. And she is too young and frightened to appreciate her parents' motivations for sending her away. And instead feels bitterness and anger of abandonment. Sounds like the perfect candidate for someone that could go either good or evil. So this is who we will choose. Our journey of X-Men Destiny. Game that seems almost too good to be true and amazing. Like Mass Effect mixed with X-Men. I like it. 
Let's get to it. This is all we have. This isn't the amount we agreed on. That is everything. Arigato. This ship will take us tonight. What about Mother? I will bring her. Wait for us on the boat. Try to keep out of sight. Do not delay. of San Francisco. You have seen your city retreat to two separate enclaves. Professor Xavier stood for integration and unity. Today, we honor his memory and his ideas. Today, we all stand together. Magneto just gave us a vote of no confidence. Hey, that's us, and we're about to select powers here. Got three to choose from. Got two two things that stuck out to me about that uh that mayor scene. One, why does the mayor guy look like Grandpa Wolverine? And two, if the mutants are trying to achieve some sense of some sense of like legitimacy, why do they have Emma Frost standing up there in a bra? Maybe it's a publicity move. I don't know, but it doesn't seem like the best way to put your best foot forward. Who knows? Three powers. This mutant power grants the ability to control the density one's body mass. This is basically like heavy melee. Density control, energy projection, I think we can know what this is. Blast of concussive force, this is basically infamous, if you want to be coal, I guess. And what is shadow matter? This is the one that's most alluring to me. Power allows me to control the immediate unseen dark matter around the body. Indestructible blades out of thin air. Full body matter displacement, movement instantaneous. I, this is the one I'm going with, <laughs> we have to. I don't really want to be coal from infamous. And firing projectile, that's kind of boring. Density control, melee, okay, you can do that in a lot of games, punching guys. But creating blades out of shadows and teleporting? That's my style!
pretty sure I made a pretty good choice here. Nightcrawler is one of my favorite X-Men. I'm basically Shadow Ninja Nightcrawler, which is super awesome. Super awesome. There's tons of different costumes in this game, so I'll probably be mixing it up as we acquire them. There's a couple from pre-ordering and that sort of stuff, so I'll probably be throwing the costumes in there. But the question of the day is, when will Amy take off her scarf? If ever, will that happen during the entire game? I pose that question to you. What do you think? All right, let's get into the game here. Let's see what we actually do in this thing. Walk around and look around. Nice. Okay, that's that's pretty good. I like that. I can appreciate that. Whoops. That's that's not the right button. What's happening? Run! All right, we're going. Earthquake! I see that. Uh, not going that way. Who are these guys? Thugs. You ready to battle? Looks like we got ourselves a muty. Take this freak out at the knees. Whoa there. You're all right. Take a deep breath. What? Who is this? Don't be scared. I'm Emma Frost, and we're talking mind to mind. I'll coach you through this. The important thing is to focus. Boom, baby. Okay, press X and Y. Oh, yes. <laughs> Boom. I love action RPGs. Whoa, that's sweet. Look at that. You've got it. Dang. Don't forget to breathe. I like that. The interface on the screen like that. Power-up orbs can be collected by defeating enemies or destroying power-up crates. Green restore health, blue failure M power meter, and yellow orbs grant XP. Okay. Ooh. Never mind that. Dodge that. Well, hey, hey, I'm trying to do some cartwheels. Don't you want to see my skills? Alright. Okay, so we can quickly dodge. We're pressing this. Alright. Destroy some propaganda. Yo! Stop hating on mutants. Jerks. Try jumping. <laughs> I can jump! Uh oh, these guys look tough. I don't like that stick. No zappy. Quick silver! Why are you standing still? So slow. Pay attention! They've really tried to integrate a lot of the main, or a, a ton of different X Men into the game, which I think is awesome. We're gonna meet up with a lot of guys along the way, gather and gain their powers. Should be pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna block this. Oh yes, that's a whoa! Hey, Quicksilver, let me have some fun, man. All right, so X and Y are main combat buttons. I'm sure we'll gain combos along the way. What happens if we let's see? What happens if we hold Y here? Or hold X, jump and hold Y. Ooh, Gyro Smasher! They call me Kratos. I like that. One enemy left. Can you see it? I think we're good. I like that interface that pops up on the screen like that. That's pretty awesome. It's really cool. Collectible. And I like my blades too. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Ooh, marker. Where'd he go? Over there. <laughs> yes. This should be easy with your abilities. Okay, I can cycle and lock on targets. Good. The controls are really nice. 18 enemies, holy cow. Leave me alone, I'm not a mute! Don't hurt me! Let's see. Have to get away from yes, I like that, I like that quick close move. Alright, if you, if you press Y, I'm playing on 360, but you can play on PS3, it'd be triangle. Quickly close in your, uh, your enemies. Whoa! Can enemies laugh? I like that so much, I'm so, I'm so impressed with that, it's really cool. This is our calling, purifiers! All right, let's see what we got, guys. Uh, Iceman, don't don't take all my, uh, don't do everything for me. I'd like to get your power though. Could you give it to me? I'm just a little girl with a scarf. Hmm. Trying to trying to think here. When I ever play a game like this, I'm always thinking like, should I go evil? Should I go, you know, good? What should I do? I don't know how it all pans out. How it's all decided. I think it's probably that. I know there's dialogue dis decision and things like that. I'm not sure exactly how it's decided. What's up, Iceman? We won. We beat them. Oh, you think? I have a feeling that was just a warm-up event. Mm. Okay, new quest. Their weapons. They seemed very advanced. And very dangerous. Yeah. More sophisticated than I've ever seen them use before. Wonder who their supplier is. I guess it wasn't a, a, a quest. It was a dialogue option. So these are our dialogues here. Who should we talk about? Tell me more about you, buddy. Your power is amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Ah, this whole thing's new to you. I could tell. You did good. I'm sorry it has to be under these circumstances, but we stick together, right? I'll do what I have to. Probably should get a new costume. That doesn't look very effective for fighting. Well, then again, neither does Emma Frost's. 
frosts is 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 it's more of a uh look at me and don't want to punch me as opposed to protection i guess who would want to punch her city streets we're hemmed in here exposed to attack from all sides that's exactly how they want us we have to keep moving make sure to check alleyways and rooftops for any mutants in trouble and the x-men so what happened to the x-men in news stories you're always in new york well, we lost our base and the man who brought us together in the first place charles xavier yeah professor x <sighs> hard to believe he's gone professor x what about him man he set up the x-men in the first place didn't he he was the most powerful telepath the world had ever seen he found us and he brought us together how did he die the same way he lived fighting for peace bastion struck him down who's bastion a robot kind of most of him anyway he came from the future on a mission to wipe out mutants where is he now <laughs> he's scattered debris he lost that fight i'm thinking he's going to be back though we saw him in the intro movie okay better keep going fight the good fight i'll see you around right all the mutants are trying to find a way out for us all hang in there another group hey hey can you guys not do the little uh the little glow stick thing i'm not a fan it kind of hurts my feelings that you're glow sticking me like that i'm just just trying to you know say yo i'm an x-men i can do good work like me love me kiss me hug me don't zap me with your freaking <laughs> zappy sticks all right where are we headed Get to the bridge! Get everyone to the bridge! So many people are in a panic. The psychic noise is deafening. I need your help to search. Alright. And with that, I think we're gonna wrap up this first episode of X-Men Destiny. Seemed really awesome so far. I love the combat. like how there's gonna be story decisions and gaining new mutant powers. Seems pretty awesome. Stay tuned for part two coming real soon. Heck, it may already even be up. If you guys could, if you enjoyed this video, if you could hit that like button, add your favorites. It helps me out a ton. I really appreciate it. It'll help us take X-Men Destiny to the top. Show people this awesome game. Show people that mutants can exist in peace with humans and that they can have a good time while doing it. So thank you once again for watching. Have a fantastic day. Enjoy some hot chocolate. See you all at X-Men Destiny Part 2. Like and favorite if you enjoyed. Until next time, everyone, we will see you all. Later.